this microphone is definitely or was definitely off that has tripped me up a few times uh in the past week i recorded a whole video last week and i had no audio and i just wanted to die um hmm i have anything in my nose no <laughs> i have my computer in front of me so i'm kind of just going to ramble a bit today because i got this question a few times um within i want to say because i did a few conferences and things like that in the past few months i keep getting asked how i started so i thought that this would be a good video to share with you guys mm, obviously the sun is playing games because we are currently filming with window light but we're gonna rock out um <laughs> I rather shoot underexposed and then raise my exposure up. Somebody asked me that the other day, actually. I think they asked me um, on Instagram as it pertained to photos. Anyway, I can ramble forever, but I want to start this video by first saying that. Um, I'm gonna just really share about how I got into visuals and visual content and wanting to really stand out online. I answered this question maybe once or twice on a podcast, but I thought why not share with you guys what really started me getting into visuals and getting into standing out online and things like that. And I hope that what I would share or what I am sharing is gonna change your trajectory or your journey um, because you're hearing my story. So. I first started getting into pictures and things like that years ago. I just always loved standing out and amusing my own eyes. That's really where it started. I kind of wanted to see, this was way back, probably in 2007 on Facebook when everybody was using text, there wasn't really a lot of visual content. It looks nothing like it was, like it looks today. Um, and you had to have a college ID to have Facebook. And so for me, I felt like I wanted more. Words were cool, but I wanted more. I wanted pictures. We definitely did not have video in that time or video capabilities. And so, yeah, it was a time where I would take pictures with my flip phone and upload them. And I, I'll see if I can find any of those corny pictures and put them somewhere. <laughs> But so we had lots of uh, people writing text and sharing their feelings and things like that. It was nothing like it was today. People weren't even using uh, the online space for business like they are now. So it was a whole different world. But like I said, I needed for my eyes to be stimulated. And then a few years after that, probably like two years after that, Instagram came about. And when Instagram came about, I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see visuals. I wanted to see pictures. Still, it was nothing like it is today. But you know, that's the thing. Like, you know, I got to grow with that. So I've been on these platforms forever, just looking at how they're evolving and feeling like if I wanted to see more visuals and more of a pop, then other people wanted to see the same thing. And so that's kind of how I uh, approached that whole thing. And because of that, my love for visual content just started growing and growing and it turned into videos. But I'll tell you a little crazy story. I remember years ago, um, I asked one of my cousins, he would take photos of like landscapes and things like that. And I was so amazed by uh, his photography and his work. I would ask him like, hey, cuzzo, like, could you teach me how to shoot? Like, I want to learn. And so his advice to me, which I did not like at the time, but now I value it so much. His advice to me was um, get a point and shoot. And I was like, a point and shoot? I want the camera that you're using because he had a really dope camera. And so um, he said to me, get a point and shoot and just start shooting, you know, start practicing and then you'll learn. And then he didn't show much interest after that. And I was like, huh. You know, it, it didn't sit well with me, but um, I did what he said. I got a point and shoot, literally. I got a Canon uh, cyber shot years ago and I started like playing around with it. It's crazy because now he asks me like, yo, where did you learn to shoot like you do now? And it's crazy because his advice of me 
trying and testing for myself is why I am where I am. And I feel like with visuals and photography, like you have to find your eye. That's really what's, what it's about. It's about pleasing your eye and doing what feels good to your eye. Because as creatives, you know, we tend to get lost a lot in trying to look like others or do what other people are doing. But you have to learn to trust your eye, right? I mean, in life, you have to learn to trust your eye um, or your gut. But let me tell you, I started playing around and, you know, trying and testing and learning to trust my eye and learning to like it. And as you grow, you have to get comfortable with making mistakes or or not. Your eye is going to keep evolving. So you have to keep doing whatever, you know, and and don't get me wrong, like your eye is not always going to going to appeal to somebody else's eye. You know, for me, I love oversaturation. I love a pop. I love when you're scrolling, you're probably stopping to see who is this person or what am I doing? And so that's not for everybody, right? But you have to get comfortable with who you are and get comfortable with your journey and get comfortable with learning. And so I shoot to please my eye. I edit to please my eye. Um, I've even created presets in Lightroom based on the fact that I couldn't find any that made my photos look like how I wanted them to look. Even in my editing and videos, I edit the way that I want it to look. It's so crazy. So I just want to remind you guys of that, of trying and testing and learning to trust your eye and learn and understanding that your eye is also on a journey. Um, I might look back at photos that I edited years ago and I might be like, eek, what was that? (laughs) So you just want to be mindful that we're all on a journey of growing, but you you won't be able to grow if you don't start. Hence the name of my video academy, Start, Shoot, Grow, right? But you gotta start. If you can't start or if you don't start, then It's going to be hard to, you know, really get to a place where you feel like you're actually growing or actually doing or actually attracting people based on your content. So for all the people that are interested in shooting, I am not a professional photographer, (laughs) but I love it. And I think that's what really helps me to not be like about it um, because I am having fun with it and I'm learning and I'm always a student. So that's really how I got started loving visual content and that kind of spilled over into graphics and things like that as well because a lot of people ask me about my website head over to celiebarclay.com if you don't know what I'm talking about and yeah and I show my process a lot on Instagram so head over to Instagram Zaley Barclay on Instagram and I'll link that down below or probably somewhere up here just so that you can see what I'm talking about if you've gotten here and you're like who are you girlfriend yes so Um, Yeah, I really wanted to share that story from my people who have been rocking with me and have been riding with me um, forever because a lot of people ask, how did you get started with, you know, taking your own pictures and things like that? And I also have a video on how I do that right now. Although my processes are always evolving and growing because I'm always testing and trying, you know, I share a lot online. So if you're not subscribed just yet, I encourage you to do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Trust your eye. (laughs) Test and try. Ooh, I feel like a rapper now. (laughs) I'll see you guys soon. Take care.